Good afternoon, hope everybody's doing well. So I'm here at my shop, get some work done on an aggravated assault. Let me show you what I'm working on. So this right here is a knuckle. This piece right here is called a hub. So the hub attached to the spindle, spindle bolts to the knuckle. There's supposed to be what's called a wheel tether. It's like a disc that bolts here. And then this piece right here, this bolts to the kingpin cap. This is a kingpin. Undo these bolts. It's a pin that slides out and it's what holds the knuckle to the rest of the axle. Problem is, is, if you look, there's six bolts on this one, and this one only has four bolts. And this is the old style wheel tether where all this is kind of welded on, so if I wanted to take everything apart, I'd have to undo these bolts, and then no, there's nothing holding the kingpin in, so it's kind of a pain. Newer style ones bolt right here, but also there's only four bolts, and I need six bolts, and the sixth bolt will go right here. This piece would interfere, so I'm making new wheel tethers, and I've been working on this thing for a while. It's time for a little break. It's holiday weekend, weather's awesome. So I figured I'd take a break from working on the truck for a little while, go to my local hobby store, RC Madness, Enfield, Connecticut. I mean, it's not that local. It's not like it's two blocks down the road. It's a good little ride. So I figured, I don't know, nice to take one of my cars to ride to either take the Monty right here. Love this car, it's a nice driver. Or maybe I'll take the 69 Roadrunner. It'd be cool to drive this thing there, but it's so loud, I'd be deaf by the time I got there. Plus, with the price of fuel, that'd probably be a couple hundred dollar ride. So I think I'll take the Monty. Oh, and since I'm here in my shop, you gotta check out this car real quick. This is a customer's car, so I own a custom exhaust shop. Look at this old Corvette. I believe this is a 1960. I've never been into Corvettes. Not really much of a vet guy, but I don't know. This one's really nice, really solid. It's all original. I mean, some things have been changed, but for the most part original. I'm putting a set of headers in this, doing a nice dual exhaust. This is a cool car. I think it's 1960. Look at the interior on this thing. Four speed, steering wheel's been changed, aftermarket tack, but definitely a cool car. I just thought I'd share that. They're getting a lot of cool cars in here, being a custom exhaust shop. Definitely gotta wash this thing. Black cars are so hard to keep clean. Since I'm going to RC Mass and bring the cloud buster with me, just in case I gotta floss it. All right, let's hit the road. RC Madness, here I come. So the body's all gassed up and running good. The trouble with RC Madness is they have all the latest and greatest electronics, so it's really easy to smoke and brand or more. So whenever I go there, I bring limited funds with me because if I bring a bunch of cash, it's all gonna be spent every time. So anyway, almost there. Now I'll show you what I come up with. Such a nice area. I get really jealous every time I come up here. I'm kind of in a ghetto, but it's a really nice place. All right, coming up on RC Madness right now. Right there, if you take a look, they got a big outdoor track. There it is. I'm not gonna film inside. All right, here we are, RC Madness. I'm not gonna film inside because a lot of times they have top secret stuff going on here. Look at that, if you know, you know. All right, so we'll see what we got. Man, what a time, that was awesome. RC Man has expanded since I was there last, it's huge. They got a huge outdoor crawler course, three outdoor tracks, one big dirt track, carpet and a pavement track, and then inside they have a big carpet indoor track, plus a good size indoor crawler course tons of inventory at a really good price so i walked out of there spending way less than i thought it would so i'm gonna step on it get back to the shop and show you what i got okay back to the shop let's see what i got what did i add to my fleet there it is to my grand hauler so these things are awesome i've been watching shan rc's videos on these i always wanted one and then just there's so much cool stuff you can do to these so i went with this kit so right here i got the kit Plus, this is the controller that they recommend. That's a Futaba 4 channel. And here is just some servos and speed control. Let me get this thing out of the trunk so we get a better look at it. I'm not gonna do an unboxing right now. I'll do that later. Brought the cloud with me. I always say never leave home without a cloud buster. Right here's some servos, this is what he recommended. Right here's the speed control. That's gonna be temporary, so when I bought this truck, 
This is one he gave me for now, but they have in stock a few light kits. That It's like a light kit, sound box, speed control, all in one. So that's probably what I'm going to go with. But I figured I'd get the truck built first, see how it goes. Upgrade from there. So once I do that, I could use this in one of my other projects. Right there's the controller. Futaba, Futaba, however you want to say it. Okay, take a close look at that truck. If you look at the nose, the air cleaners, which is these right here, there's like a little hose going there. This looks a lot like my Peterbilt 359 extended hood. Although some things are slightly different, like this grill kind of more resembles a Freightliner grill. Same thing with the headlights. The headlights right here kind of look like a Kenworth because it's attached to the fender, but that's like a Peterbilt fender. And I'm guessing that's probably just because Tamiya's not licensed with Peterbilt. So it's mostly Peterbilt, even the doors and the vent windows and all that stuff, clearly a 359. And it's just little things like the headlights and the grill. It's probably just for licensing. So I actually plan on changing that. So let's go take a look at my full size Peterbilt truck. So right here's my 359, it's 1984, it's an extended hood, but you can see the air cleaners, the headlights, the bumper. Definitely looks a lot like that Grand Hauler. So it's been an ongoing project, had it for a long time. I put everything, new wheels, new tires, souped up cat motor, 15 speed. A lot of stuff went in this truck and I got a lot more to do to it. So I'm not gonna do an unboxing now. I'll probably wait a little bit. Honestly, it's gonna be a little bit before I even take on this project because watch the Shen RC's videos it looks like it's a pretty in-depth build so and i got a lot of other projects i got to finish that original rc10 ts started building so once i get that done then this is going to be the next project and also monster truck i have a lot to do on that too and got some upcoming shows with that thing so anyway take care thanks for watching like subscribe hit the bell see you next time bye